Well, now we're uh, transitioning to a more lighthearted video here from that vegan teacher saying Hitler was a nice guy. Let's give it a watch. All right, let's look at a comment here that is in my comment section on my YouTube channel. This person says, the thing about her, meaning me, is that she only sees the bad side of people. Yo, you know how you know uh, that vegan teacher is a boomer? Because she films the comment. Instead of, like, cutting it out, editing it in post-term, she's, like, filming her computer, and it's, like, all, like just, like... Is that she only sees the bad side of people and not the good side. Like me, not vegan. I volunteer at an animal shelter every Saturday. Wow, what a nice person. So you volunteer at an sh animal shelter, and then you go home to pay people to murder chickens, cows, and pigs, and then you shove them down your pie hole. Good work. I mean, hey, after all, you know, I agree with you. We should always see the good side of people. For example, Hitler. I mean, besides the fact that he murdered millions of innocent people. Trying to relate not being vegan to, to Adolf Hitler is the most preposterous analogy I have ever seen in my entire life. You are say, You are trying to be sarcastic and make fun of his comment by saying I'm not vegan but I still do good and you're going to relate that to Adolf Hitler like they're not they're not the same in any way whatsoever a guy who buys chickens and eats animal meat is not the same as a furious dictator possibly quite possibly one of the worst people that have ever existed if not the worst person that has ever existed uh, resulting in the deaths of 14 million Jewish people, or 14 million people in general, and I don't know if all of them are Jewish. I, I know that's a statistic, but I don't know if they were all Jewish or if that's factoring everybody in the war. I'm sure he was deep down a good guy who said please and thank you once in a while. According to your logic, a person can murder and still be good. So, if your mom was kidnapped, raped, tortured, pinned down, forced to have her milk stolen, we should see the good in the person that did that because you know maybe that week he held the well on a moral level trying to define milking a cow in the same sense as raping and torturing a human is different because cognitive conscious capabilities of a different species right like cows don't have a sense of self like they don't know they can't actively think in a language right they're not like contemplating who they are and morals and stuff and so like they're an entirely different species and she's gonna say that the, what i'm saying right now is speciesist especially if this becomes a youtube video i know she'll see this no but like it's just it's not the same and i i understand her points like a lot of the time i will feel bad about eating other animals but in the same sense you're sitting on a high pedestal like you're a very moral individual for being vegan but in reality you're still killing living things if it's if it's coming down to kill where do we draw the line on killing living things is it just things that move because plants are living and when you eat corn you're you're eating a living thing. You're eat everything that you eat was or is a living thing. And so animals why while yes, it may be more immoral to eat animals than plants. If you're just basing it off of it's alive, then you can't eat anything other than like spices and salts, not spices, salt. Yep. Extremely logical. Good work. Looking at the fact that you like Hitler are also good sometimes. Uh, but then you're but then you're also see and now that was another fucking stupid point there because you're saying Hitler was good sometimes. Did Hitler help an old woman cross the street one time? Maybe. Did he also fucking start World War II and cause a mass genocide? Yeah. Like saying do good sometimes. Hitler's bad massively outweighs his good. Whereas a person that's not vegan, in your eyes, that they're bad because of that, their good could still very well outweigh or equate to the bad. Like, that's, that's what, it's just the analogy's so bad. I need to see her other fucking, thank God we're watching another one, responding to weird animal eaters in my comment section. Hello, students, welcome. Oh, God, I love the, I love the happy ukulele music and the gifts that are just always on screen. It's like a Call of Duty HUD. Welcome to class. For those of you who are new, I am Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. Today we're going to be looking at some crazy comments. 
on my YouTube channel. Complete lies, things that are made up, things that are very creative and completely delusional thinking. And while we're doing that, we're gonna be using our media literacy skills and our brains to try to figure out what it is that makes people do this. What motivates somebody to lie, to try to manipulate them? And then another thing, like I don't wanna try and be a gaslighter here. I, I really do think that vegan, like vegan people are great people. And I think that if you're vegan because you, you believe that animals should not be killed, that's fine, right? Like I'm not dissing vegans, but she's sitting here yapping about how this guy is similar to Hitler in the sense of, well, he's done good sometimes. You're vegan and you don't kill animals, but you're using a camera, which causes pollution, which has been made by child labor, which has fucking resulted in the deaths of other people. At the end of the day, if we're really gonna nitpick people's moral standings on a day-to-day -day basis, I could point out a hundred things that you use that are fucking awful and like and 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 have rooted ties to like child labor and murder and fucking and all this other shit. If you drive a car, even if it's a fucking electric car, as bad in in the sense of moral standings. In the Bible, God made people kill animals. If people are so bad for eating animals, why did God do it? I never bring religion into that argument because I myself am not religious, and I think that having a religious moral standpoint in a argument about today's morals when things obviously change. It, it's it's a hard thing to quote the Bible in a today moral argument in many terms just because there are things in the Bible that, that the church just genuinely deems outdated in the sense of like, hey, this was something that was okay back then and that's obviously why it was done, but now like we've strayed away from that. You can make that point and that's an argument you could have with that vegan teacher, but I wouldn't personally take any religious argument into a moral argument if that makes sense. Just because it's also just a, slick, a cyclical thing, because then it always, any moral argument you have with somebody that brings up a religious viewpoint or religion as a definitive reasoning as to why they're right, it always just goes back to the, well, what if God's not real? I'm not saying God isn't, right? And this is going to get into the philosophy shit later on. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful in any way whatsoever. I used to be Christian. I respect Christians. I respect every religion. But if you're having an argument about morals and just, just just the general logical standing on each of them and you bring up something that is a religious like viewpoint that is to be taken as a fact, it just goes into a cyclical loop argument about religion itself and it always diverts from the main argument. The main reason that people lie about these kinds of things is because they feel guilty. They feel shame because they eat animals. They feel guilty that they are not stopping. So rather than just change their behavior, they decide to attack the messenger. Now, attacking the messenger is not new. It's been going on for centuries. People have done this all the time. And sometimes messengers have literally been killed. In this case, don't you attack the messenger as well when somebody makes like a foundational point? Like if somebody says something, you literally compared somebody to Hitler. Like that's attacking the messenger. That's not that's not relating yourself to a point, right? That's not like that's not like rebutting what they said. It's like it's like a yap sesh. Let's have a look at the comment section and you try to determine who is a child, who are 12-year-olds and who are actual adults who are psychopaths. Let's go have a look. All right, so the first comment that jumps out here is John Case, who made a point of lying and saying that speciesism is the first form of racism. He apparently has spoken to my oldest child <laughs> or has um, met my oldest child and said that my child, notice how they say they, because this person doesn't even know if my oldest child is a girl or a boy. They wouldn't piss on her grave because it would be a waste of time. That right sums up her. Imagine your own children absolutely hating you. All right, so I would like to know, what do you think that would motivate John to make up such nonsense? What do you think? And let's look, here is something else. Her children's names are Thomas, Sarah, and Bridget, which is absolutely fascinating because these are not my children's names at all. So why do you think that this person would say that?
Do you think that this person is a child? Because they're an online troll and you're responding to trolls very frequently, so they're going to continue to be trolls. Doesn't she hate you? Somebody said that she was on live and said she fucking hated me, but I, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't hate her. I just, I just think she is terrible at advocating for v veganism. Like, my honest take is that I think she is so misconstrued in how she should front veganism and trying to get people to be vegan that, if anything, she's straying people away from it. Do I think that that vegan teacher has made people vegan? Yeah. But do I think that she could have made many more people vegan if she took a different stance? Yes. Instead no. of looking at it at, like, an analytical way of, like, hey, how can I actually try and change people's minds? She gets, like, more emotionally involved into, like, the trolls and then just, like, yaps. And then, and then it comes off as just stupid points, like her saying that some guy was like Hitler. Now, here we have some smart people who say, wait, how did you know her children's names? So that's a very interesting question. It hasn't been answered. And here's somebody else says, wait, source, please. So this is a very highly intelligent person who is seriously questioning with a lot of question marks and saying, we need the source. We're not just going to believe your BS. So good job to you and good job to you for questioning. Excellent work. Who the fuck cares what her kids' names are? Like, why? You're saying this person's very smart. Why do they even give a fuck? Bro, is this literally just going to be... I thought this was about veganism, that vegan teacher. This is literally just somebody yapping about your kids. And here's another one by the same person. Don't be surprised if it's a... Oh, my God. Is she going to move to another comment? Getting through to people is hysterical, apparently. And yet, here you are listening to all the arguments for veganism. So thank you so much for being here. I'm glad that you find it entertaining. Now, here's another person. I've never heard her give, like, real... I mean, it's been years, so she might have, right? And I just forget. But, like, she very rarely in the videos that I watch gives an accurate argument as to why you should be vegan outside of you're a immoral douchebag if you're not. Like, that's that's the argument is, like, hey, if you're not vegan... You're a terrible person. It's like a shaming rather than like a talking about, like she's talked about health benefits of being vegan and stuff before. I remember that. But it's just like, I feel like that's what she really has to talk about more and just make it more of like a, hey, I feel great. Like, hey, wow, veganism has really changed me as a person. Like being vegan has made me feel better. Being vegan has made me blah, blah, blah. Like she could say that. But instead it's like, <clears throat> you're like Hitler. You know, you know, Hitler wasn't that bad of a guy either, and he probably helped somebody cross the road. Oh, you work at a dog shelter? Oh, but you buy chicken from the local supermarket. So you might as well be, like, somebody that committed genocide. I, it's it's a very hard argument to, to have the moral standing that any uh, eating animals is wrong when biologically that's what we're meant to do. When you could say, yeah, biologically we're meant to do a lot of other things that we don't because we live in a society right now, and that's a genuine rebuttal, and I understand that. But morals, and now this is getting into a philosophy fucking stream here, chat, so I apologize for getting into, into this a little bit early, but we'll segue back out of it when we get into the next video. Morals developed from a non-religious perspective with the hunter-gatherer tribes, right? When humans started to very rudimentary develop language, they needed each other to hunt and, you know, live together in very tight-knit groups, and then those kind of slowly started to go to societies, right? Animals became companions to humans. And how moral started was, if somebody is beneficial to me on a friendship perspective, then I should not harm them because not only of, like, the narcissistic view of, like, hey, they help me, but also, like, we need each other. And so, fast forward to now, there's a lot of animals that we like right? Like dogs. And dogs were very, they, dogs weren't, dogs today are just fucking pets for the most part. But dogs back in the day were used to help farm, to help fucking kill other animals, to help track down things, to help herd, right? Fucking Rottweilers and, and, and even today border collies are like sheep herders, right? And so like they're used. And so we don't kill them or eat them because we don't want to do that because we need them. And they need us, so it's the same fucking foundational friendship, right? A dog envisions you as something they need. You have, you have a base rudimentary friendship with your dog because your dog needs you and you want them, right? Even today, your pet that isn't used for survival, you use your pet for emotional well-being. You like your dog. Your dog's around you. Your dog brings you joy. 
And to your dog, you keep them alive. You give them food. You make them happy. You keep them, you keep them well fucking fed, right? And so when you transfer over to other animals that we don't deem as that, those are the animals that we eat. And other societies eat other animals that we would deem as immoral, right? Like people in other societies eat guinea pigs or dogs. And over here in the United States, we don't do that, right? But my point is that societally, morals developed to not kill certain animals and, and kind of nitpick which ones we kill and we don't. Not because of like some weird like, oh, this animal's cute. But because of the historical foundation of this animal helped me, so I'm not going to eat it. But the animals that don't help me, I'm going to kill and eat because that's what I need them for. Cows, pigs, chickens, that type of shit. Buffalo. That was a, a long yap. My apologies. And now we have somebody who's an obvious psychopath who says that animals feel pain, but their pain is of no concern. So this is another person that needs to be banned immediately. If you are literally a person who doesn't care, why are you here? Why exactly are but you- But if it's all about pain, if it's about- See, I don't know what her moral standpoint is. If it's about pain, then you could eat certain animals that may not have, like, nervous system receptors. But if it's about just killing animals, you stepping in a puddle kills millions of fucking living organisms. Like, you walking in the snow and going out and doing all this fucking random shit, right? Like, just, just walking throughout your day, you're killing stuff. You've stepped on bugs, like accidentally maybe, but you're killing animals. At that point, you're just as bad. Never move. Never move. Just sit in one position for the rest of your life. Never, never touch anything. When you wipe your face, you've killed bacteria. It is either that you do care or you're just fascinated, but I don't need you here. So let's say goodbye. So here we have a person who says both child abuse and animal abuse are bad, which is right. Good job. But you say they shouldn't be punished the same way because you are saying that you consider animal abuse isn't actually abuse. So you think that eating meat is not abuse. So you think that taking an animal and shooting them in the head and having them bleed to death in front of their friends, that's not animal abuse. And you think that drinking milk is not animal abuse. So stealing babies from their moms so that humans can go underneath the cows and steal the milk and then murder the baby boy cows because in the dairy industry, they'll never be able to give milk. That you think is not abusive. So you think kidnapping, rape, murder, all this is not abusive to you. But you do admit that kicking a cat or dog is wrong. But you see, this is speciesism. This is I think abusing any animal is wrong, right? I don't support factories and places that like keep animals in cages like veal and shit and it's like it's, they live a terrible life and then they die but like a free-ranged cow that lives a great life for two three years and then they just fucking shoot it in the head and eat it that's not abuse right that's not it's they're not abusing the animal it's dead they just killed it you could say it's murder you could say you murdered the animal. Like, if they, they have not harmed the animal in any way, they're caring for the animal, and then they're killing it to eat it. That, I, don't, I've no, I have no problem with. I think when people trophy hunt, I think that's fucked up. I think if you're going out in the wild and you're killing animals to mount them on your wall rather than eat them, I think that's a problem. This is the first form of racism, where you think that there is a reason to hurt some animals and that there's no reason to hurt others. Now, what do you think is the psychology of somebody here who says, dear vegan teacher, and then starts to tell me about all the animal abuse they took part in, and then says, I really want to be on your report card. Why do you think that this person wants my attention so badly? I don't think they want your attention so bad. I think that they know if they put minimal effort in, it will trigger you, and then you will respond, right? Like, you could say, yeah, people that, like, harass you, like, what the fuck is the point of that? But, like, this guy just left a YouTube comment in 10 seconds and you got triggered by it and made a YouTube video about it. He put in minimal effort to get a maximal reward out of you. So after just watching a video where- he Another weird foundational point that I like kind of want to bring up is, yeah, like farming for cows is kind of fucked up in, in like a lot of ways. What does she, I, I, I'm, so I'm assuming she ideally wants like all of these places, like chicken factories, cow farms, like all of them to like kind of disintegrate, but like cows will just die off, 
like people may have pet cows and stuff. Like, if, if where, are there cows in the wild? Like, are there wild cows or wire wild bulls? I mean, maybe, but where? India, Myanmar, and Malay Peninsula are the only places. In Europe, the last species of wild cow died in the 17th century. Okay, so there's a how how many cows are alive now? There's 92 million cattle in America. If we stopped eating cows, they're all gone, right? Like they're uh, like cows. I'm not saying they're gonna go extinct, right? People are still gonna have fucking cows and heifers and keep them as pets and shit. But like. If everyone was like, we're never going to eat cows anymore, they're they're all just going to fucking disappear. And another foundational thing that I don't understand is she's saying eggs are bad and it's like animal abuse to eat eggs. And I, I'll agree when they're like stuffed in cages and they're, they're stuck there. But like a free range chicken that just already is going to lay eggs. Is that fucked up for me to eat? Like if you have a chicken that lives in your backyard and and you're just like grabbing the eggs that that motherfucker lays, that are unfertilized that they're gonna lay anyway why is me eating them immoral like if humans laid eggs <laughs> would it be fucked up for people to be like uh yeah th we're gonna eat that right like like just because it's food like if humans laid eggs just like chickens humans would eat the eggs you would eat the eggs you would be like, okay, if you were born and raised knowing that humans laid eggs unfertilized and that they were food, you would eat the fucking eggs. Now, here's somebody's talking about the video who obviously did not pay attention at all. She eats. Girl, I'm crying. She only eats vegetables. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Only vegetables. So who are you talking? Yo, clearly just a bait comment. About. And here's another one where this person says, I have the nerve to call you guys animal abusers when you think that I forced my dog to be vegan. In fact, my dog has been close to squirrels and she could have eaten them. She's been beside lambs. She could have killed them. She could have bit their necks. Bro, oh my God. That is a terrible fucking point. Put a bull. Oh my God. Let's do a test. I know you're not going to like it. Get a raw fucking slab of cow beef. Get a raw chicken leg and put that and some fucking celery or that whack-ass kibble that you're giving your dog. And which one are they going to choose? There's a video of that? No way she did that. Did she do that? Oh, not hers? Oh. Lucy decided because oh of the hot God. weather storm was... Oh, it was this. No, really took to it. Two bowls here, right? Oh, no. One is full of vegetables <laughs> and one is full of meat. Oh, Storm. Oh, Amen. Storm. Right. Storm, we hate to put the temptation in front of you, you but it's over you. Storm. Right? Oh, I'm let her go. Really let, her go. let her go. Oh, she's obviously going to go. Obviously. Oh, you little... Yes. I didn't swear. 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Without a doubt, I think the only time that they wouldn't is if it's like they're... Like, my dog really likes apples. So if I put, like, an apple and maybe, like, chicken, she might go for the apple, like, one out of a hundred times. But, like, dude, my dog, I don't know if you guys know this or not know this or experience this yourself with your animals. Have you ever held, like, a piece of meat in front of your dog? Dude, if I'm eating dinner, my dog's a beggar. My dog will literally go and whine in front of me. It's fucking annoying. But I trained her to do it. It's my fault. If I'm eating, like, say, like, green beans... And I give my dog one. She'll just eat it, right? She'll still be happy about it, but she'll eat it. The second I hold, like, a piece of chicken or meat, dude, eyes just, and just, like, dude, they're fucking biologically, like, I, they would rather eat that 100 times out of 100. Yeah, they'll start freaking out, dude. Like, my dog honestly will lose her shit. Runs in circles. Then we have somebody here who says that I make good points, but thinks I should be more respectful to animal abusers. This person wants me to say please and thank you and to be nice to those who cut the heads off of those who don't want to die. Amazing. I just don't, I, I just think her, I understand where she's coming from, where she just foundationally disagrees with people. But coming from, like, my own standpoint or many other people that are in, like, the political, philosophical, moral world, like, if you, you might have very different opinions than other people that drastically disagree with what you believe. But, and here's the thing, if you, if you want somebody to change, and instead of sitting there and getting them to foundationally 
motivationally interview them and get them to arrive at your opinion, either by questioning them or even just being nice and having a genuine discussion, you're going to have much more success in that world than being like, you're a fucking bad person. You're an animal abuser. If you don't become vegan right now, like, they're going to think you're a joke. Well, no, I don't think she's, like, bad for having her dog vegan. Like, I, if her dog's happy and healthy, that's fine. But, like, on a biological level, you can't argue that your dog should be vegan. And on just a fitness level, I, I, I truly believe that if your dog went against another dog that was not vegan in an athletic competition, your dog would 100% of the time get fucking smoked. Mark Rober, don't be a robber. Stop teaching kids to exploit animals. No way she's coming at Mark Rober. Mark Rober's like the nicest guy ever. Gordon Ramsay's rap. This is a this is a fucking age restricted YouTube video. Oh god, it probably has like animals just getting fucking murdered. Learns it's okay to pay for billions of animals to die when he could just rise up and say that vegan teacher was right. Let's help her save animals today. Cook only vegan recipes, Gordon Ramsay. Why don't you help us lead the way? Why? Yeah, it has a bunch of animals dying. And I mean, like, I I I will agree with her that I think animals being abused at, at their time of death and and having terrible deaths is very immoral. But a free-ranged cow, free-ranged chicken, I've been to farms where they have 40, 50 cows. And they just eat grass all day. They live in a nice place. They sit by a creek. And they just kind of chill, right? And then one day they're brought into a fucking area and they're instantly shocked to death or fucking shot in the face. Like, I don't think that's... I think it sucks. But I mean, like, I don't think that it's immoral i think it sucks that animals have to die but i mean like could the whole world be vegan yeah but would it would it have health issues are we biologically meant to be vegan no we're herbivores or not herbivores we're omnivores uh all right so that was a good video next video